committee bureaucratic journey part some aspects of ancient african culture ancient one of the most uh, prominent royal lines african royal lines first we have to say this is the sphinx which answers the riddle uh, the number of persons who built and founded the civilization in the nile valley in africa they also went on to find mesopotamia in the euphrates valley mohenjo daro in india the royal lines were displacing our ancestors to these places and our line is not like this they call this a nefetari this is a rework and a re a mastering of a proper ancient image of one of our royal queens and she did not look like that and we continue this is the pendant it was found in king uh, tutu's mummy and she wore it. this is a falcon shaped a bag of carnelian lapis lazuli and glass and it is similar to the zimbabwe bed and many many other falcon beds found in africa as royal beds or symbols of royal lives this is ank alive uh, which represents uh, the top circle represents the infinity and this is the line the demarcation line or the dimensional line and the it shows that life crossed the boundaries of infinity or spiritual realm into physicality that's what the ark stands for it stands for many other things of life but it is dominated by that explanation this is stepped pyramid found in the world stone monument found in the world this is the ancient uh, king Tutu Ankoma's casket or coffin and the mask and death mask which weighs almost 120 kilograms of pure gold and this is the king uh, and his wife King Tutu uh, found at the back of his throne with his wife oil this is a royal line part of royal line this is our culture part of our African culture you can see the Pope and many other royalties adopted this and started to claim that they are the ones the flail the shepherd is crook the the the, the head gear there and fortunately and happily these are africans that's how our ancestors looked like the royal line proceeded uh, from many many other parents and ancestors looked exactly like that so we show here briefly the royal line and there we are we have Amenhotep the third who ruled in 1300 before common era and that is Tie he looks exactly like that he is an african and there is Akhenaton or Akhenaton or Akhenaton or Iknaton as many have wanted to call him and there is also one of the remastered uh, 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 Nefertiti or Nefertiti she is, did not look like this this is a rework and then we go to Tutankhamun so Tutu Ankoma slide goes through uh, Semen Karef back to Akna Ton right back to Amenhotep the third and that's the line we are talking about it's now found in western africa that's why we are we have the name Tutu Ankoma and there is Aye who took over briefly and there is one of my ancestors Hore Yeme so called Hore Yeme there is the discoverer or uh, and our guide, oh, you see our sellers, they guide him, they opened him using a lot of let's see, crude instruments which they used to open uh, up. There is her again, the first inspection of Tutankhamun's uh, uh, grave or coffin or burial place. And now, because of the fame and because of the advanced civilization that we had, they have adopted it. But that's not their culture. The Europeans have adopted it. The Asians want to come in. The Arabs think that it's theirs, while they say they invaded out, they invade what is theirs, they can't. So it's African culture, it is our, our own uh, civilization that we, we founded on earth, because we are the original people, we founded a lot of uh, such civilizations. Uh, there is his throne there, and the, the totemic symbols, the lion as his totem, straightforward, anyone who does not have a totem, an African must find his totem, adopt one totem, totem. There is our king there in stone, pure stone. Anyone who doubted how 
Ignaton looks like how Akunaton looks like he is an African there it is straightforward we taking time to show you that so that no one can edge another image they left images for us so that we can know and understand that this is our ancestor this is how they looked like here they are more more of them it's our glorious past it's still our past we are tracing the royal line there is the royal line we have there and uh, and daremera uh who bridges from the uh three dynasty kufa who built the great pyramid um unto hotep who reunified ancient egypt uh, uh before 1500 and akuna tuan we have shown him the uh, many of it the fourth tutankoma and then we have got age persians now darius then we have got rameses the great who was there before uh, uh, the persians and then from there now going onwards we have foreigners so arabs are foreigners they should never claim anything of ancient Egypt. this is another fake one and there is one of the great one uh rameses the second 12.2 meter statue there is, uh, is part of our king there and we continue to show to show part of our achievements there 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 are the things that our ancestors built there is africa egypt is in africa the valley of the kings is in africa it's nowhere else there is is africa that african royal lines there is our pyramid there african royal lines there is the sphinx in ancient times it exactly looks african there is our pyramid which we our ancestors are built our ancestors built that they are ancestors our kings our royal our kings there is the more of our ancestors they look like that they were black they were not white the white came later there is one of our pharaohs there is the stepped pyramid the royal line continues this morning and so we conclude by showing one of the regalia the things that our ancient ancestors wear this is defining us now this is what we used to wear if you look at the shangan the zulus the gulis the debeles many others the uh, bantus in southern africa we wear beads around our necks around our waist around our wrists and there they are this is as we call this shisha kati or shisha kati in shangan because it is part of us worn in ancient egypt we still wear it today in africa it's part and parcel of our fashion and it defines us as we connect uh to the ancient past we conclude by showing you this image and tell you and share with you in happiness in joy to our ancestors that this is a resplendent a mask of one of our greatest achievements the ability to work with gold to shape gold to leave artifacts to leave images and this is king tutus mask there they are african not european not asian proper negroid proper african with the totem of lion with the totem of a lion which we conclude by showing you here is the totem of lion and there again is a bowl with all the totems as hieroglyphics when you read hieroglyphics you are reading totems subscribe to our channel let us revive this culture let us revive our own culture this picture rabbi elem dumizulu thank you uh, goodbye